There's a little spot. Nice little spot. All right, boy, you ready to go back? Get you next year, boy. Hey, folks. Um, Cumberland again, as always. It's supposed to be 64 today. Right now, it's probably still about 53, 52. Same as the water. Water is 53.4. Little murky. I got high skies. It's got some wind coming in today, and it's 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 hard fishing. So I went to. I was gonna go down to fish the um, dam side of the lake. Some of the coves back in there this morning. And the parking lot was full again. Must have been a hundred, a hundred boats. So I whipped it around, went to another local ramp, and came back in. So there's another tournament today. I was like, man, can't get a break. Anyways, um, well, I hope they all do good. You know, everybody likes to catch fish. So I'm still, I'm still fishing in 30, 30, 25, 30 feet of water. Um, the water is a little murky, like I said, so I'm putting a little bit more color onto my lure. Um, when the water's clear, you can get away with a nice silvery chartreuse, you know, nice color, that shad, like a shad color. But the clarity here is probably five feet, six feet. So you've got to be closer to your strike zone on stuff like this because the fish can't see it. In clear water, you make a cast. And they can see it 20 feet away and they'll dash out and get it. So a little bit harder today. You got to adapt. So what, what, I'm, what I kind of did today is um, a lot of people will say, well, you got to go to this spot. This is where all the fish are. You got to go here. <clears throat> this lake is huge. Fish are everywhere. Everywhere. So I've never fished in this spot before. So I figured I would come here, make a video on just going to a spot and picking up a pattern and trying to do within a reasonable amount of time and see if you can't catch fish. So that's what we're doing today. <clears throat> I'm in this little spot here and I'll keep going up and down you know, the line here and start, try staying 30 feet of water. I'm gonna go through my lures until I find the right color that's gonna get me the quality fish. So, um, other than that, there, there's a lot of boat traffic. I mean, I, I, I was in this little cove and I thought, oh, no one's going to be here. And there's already been four boats there this morning. I'm like, jeez. I'm trying to stay out of their way so they can, you know, they're on a time schedule. I'm not. So, anyways, let's go fishing. Hey, guys. First fish of the day. All right. Mr. Spotted Bass. All right, put you back in there, boy. All right. Good boy. How's that, huh? That's a beauty. 
That is a beauty. All right, we'll go five on that, huh? Maybe five and a half. What a beautiful fish. Wow. All right, buddy, he's going back in. This wind kicked up today, and with 5,000 boats on the lake today, those tournaments, this water is, is murky. I mean, it is murky. Real hard, real hard fishing today. So, I kind of had to pick my poison today, you know, kind of like, you got so many people on the lake and there's not too many options where to go, so I decided, I decided to stay on the main lake and fish the main lake points and um, the cliffs on the main lake. So the, the coves were just, every, every, every cove had, you know, two or three boats in it. So I stayed on the main lake and just looked for a little bit calmer area where it wasn't boat waves and, and wind waves. And looked for a nice little boulder or a nice little log kind of sticking out. But, you know, with the tremendous amount of pressure today, it was kind of hard to pick up a pattern that was, you know, which color, reeling in fast, reeling in slow. The water's 56 degrees. but the wind would not let up today at all. It was relentless. It was a mess. And another little, another little pointer, something that I use. When it's high skies like this, no clouds at all. Remember, fish do not have eyelids. So they're, looking to get out looking to get out of the sun quickly so they're going to be on the back side of a boulder or a log or mainly they're going to be in shade like where I'm at now is all shaded that's where they're going to be and when they when they're in the sun and they get behind a boulder and a log they're out of the strike zone they're usually somewhere where you can't cast it so it's, it makes it real rough. 
So I always try to see where's the shade at. What side of the lake or cove or whatever has got the shade in it. And I'll fish that shady side. It, it might be a little bit colder. But the fish will feel more secure in that area. tail end of that. Did he get me? He sure did. A lot of them short strike and they'll hit the they'll hit the tail, the part that's twirling around. And they'll they'll bite at that. But I was I was even struggling this morning. It was, it was so selective of where you could go and just to get out of the wind and get out of all the racing boats. So I got on some of these points and I was throwing rattle traps, jerk baits, but the waves were a foot and a half, you know, just crashing everywhere and stirring up the water and it just didn't work out. So I looked for no wind and a little bit clear water and that seemed to work today. Crappie down there? <coughs> it's a crappie down there trying to eat my trying to eat my my swim bait. Boy, you better watch out. Yeah, it sure is hard fishing when that sun's out and there's no clouds. Boy, I'll tell you what. That makes for a rough day. There we go. Looks like it might be a nice little spot. Spot a bass. No, you stay there. Oh, I just broke him off. <laughs> I 
I should have checked my, that's a good, take a note. I should have checked my line after I caught that big old smallmouth. I should have checked my line because he might have frayed it a little bit and that would have prevented this from happening. So, yes, it is important to check your line. Just run your fingers across it real quick after you catch a, a fish and see what's going on there. <clears throat> was another nice one, huh? That boy ain't bad at all. Let's turn this camera around here. That boy ain't bad at all. He's a good old boy. All right, Mr. Fish. Thank you for the good time. We'll catch you next year. <laughs>